What the deal, world? It's your boy, little Chris, back with a real quick bit. Like the rest of my life, I'm looking in a little disarray. But don't worry, it's all intentional. They playing checkers, we playing chess. Stay tuned for you, boy. Yo, we back. We on top of the DX Five C box. We with it. We with it. See, I got the typing on the table. Oh man, she looking broke up. She looking, she looking a little sad. It's intentional. You see, we do got that DX Five C. Yeah, shout out to anybody that's using it. Or she fun. You know what I'm saying, man, you put me onto a good one, bro. I told you, you know what I'm saying, to take your advice, bro. You know, that DX5C, she awesome. Got that 6100 receiver. I'm running this into my mutilator and then Typhon. Of course, we're able to run up the 20 models. I just wanted to get the fill up. You know, the Pro run for about three, and it holds like 250 models. So once we learn this one fully and, um, I'm able to dial everything in. I'm going to a pro. But y'all can see, got the Typhon over here, motor sitting up in, in the air. I can't do nothing like that. Can't get it down the street like that. But if you peeping through that little, that little gift slot, you see something up in there. You know what I'm saying? Tell y'all we ran mile one over here, baby. So you know what I'm saying? We did. On our last run, why down our little spur, my fix, whatever, whatever you want to call it, I ate it up. I guess from running those plastic spurs, everything heating up a little bit, trying to hit this hundred, eh, kind of got a little plastic fuse around the, the shaft and the pinion. Even with a grub screw removed, she don't want to come out. No fret. And I say, you know what? This BLX has been awesome. And we're going to just sit her to the side for right now. She gave me 91 miles. That's been my personal best with this. Constant 88. Hit 91 once. So we're going we're gonna to pause on her for a while. I promise you, you got something good for her. Even down to the black GRPs, all this got to come off. Let me show y'all. We is legit over here. We're not playing. My one. Mod it, baby. Metal. So, the goal is, I got me a new setup coming. I'm getting, I'm getting the bug from the Spectrum, man. I, I, I got bit by Spectrum, so, you know, we're going to run Spectrum. We're going to go with the, the little smart. We can go ahead and throw that, that 150 up in here. I'm going to go ahead and let you know. We're going with the 150. On my mutilator, I'm starting to get my my rollout dialed in on my remote so I can check my speeds on my remote. I just got to line everything up, try to get everything accurate with my GPS in and could be, you know, trying to figure out how to open up the GPS mode on my Spectrum. I might need to get all of my little stuff so I can update it, but I'm going to get right. I'm going to get right. Best believe. She going to hit a 100. And then when we hit a hundred, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna just look at her. When they call her out, you know what I'm saying, they can get her. You know what I'm saying? I got my uh I got my toe and camber gauges coming in. So hopefully I can get my, my toe and my camber down and all that good stuff. And man, we're going from there. But I had to give y'all something, man. I ain't talked about my typing in a minute. You see, we modded over there, baby. You know what I'm saying? That that spur is awesome. I had to wait for that. That $20 spur. Man, I can't eat up no more gears, man. Especially with me about to put a new motor in here. I don't need all the extra plastic wrapping around my motor, man. Nah, we can't do that. 
So, you know what I'm saying? I got to give me a pinion puller, pull this one off, sit that to the side, and go ahead and give me another motor mount and all that good stuff. Got a local hobby store that got it in stock. Need to get me one of my sons, so I can go ahead and put his mega back together, get him brushless, get him going, and all that good stuff, you know. But man, we getting there, bro. Shout out to everybody that like, subscribe, comment. Shout out Zookeeper. Shout out Bayou Mob. Shout out We Need Battery Boys. Man, I told you, man, I got my phone over here charging, so I'm add a little more. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring the mutilator, so let the mother phone charge up a little bit. I'm going to give you a little more content, you know. Sooner or later, we're going to change out that servo. I say, man, I'm going to be pretty much running something good. Like I say, man, I've been using the AVC, but pretty much got it cut down. You know what I'm saying? We just want to keep her as nimble as possible. So, man, y'all stay tuned, man. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Probably next time y'all see a little glimpse of I might go ahead and have down the bow. Just wait to put everything back in it. So, you know what I'm saying, man? I'm trying to dial in my telemetry and you know, all my good stuff. So, best thing I could do. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and run something that features what everybody is getting without no extra modules and this, that, links and all this crazy stuff. And I, I love them. What am I going to say? Saying she's been a great remote so far. I mean, I'm still learning how to dial in, still learning how to use the features and this, that, and the other. But man, you see, I got my mutilator set. You know, let's see, let y'all see something. As you do, just show y'all the menus that she got for me. And that's what I'm getting on my remote. Man, you got to love it. Like I said, I know it ain't the top of the line. You got way better radios, but for a budget radio, yeah. I know you got all the, the dumb RCs and the the Sky, what is it? The Radio Links, my bad, my bad. Shout out Radio Link. Nothing against them, but like I said, I wanted something that was already with what I had going on. You know what I'm saying? Not chasing brands and this, that, and the other, but... If it's going to work for the system that I already had, I say, hey, man, that's the best thing I could do. So with me getting another smart setup, I'll be able to tell all this on my Typhon. So you know what I'm saying, man? Before I jump into that pro, I need to learn this. Right, let me see. Let me back up out of here. I won't mess up none of my settings. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I'm still learning how to dial in, so I ain't, ain't a hundred on them. But man, I love them. Range is decent. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning how to calibrate her. And when I start having problems, uh, I'm learning on the fly. Still haven't set up all my trims. But, man, I'm getting my mood let out. Check on my other phone and see what's going on, man. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Well, I tried to get the mutilator. later. She said she wasn't dressed right now. She wasn't ready for the camera she doing good she running she she's straight we haven't done anything to her she's been chilling but she was a little a little tired so got the earthquake you see we did finally get some some eight scale wheels on them and just testing them out Trying to get her right. I say, this right here needs to come out. So I need to give me some shorter screws. This way. Go up and down. But I could pull all that out. Get some real screws up in there, shorten it. Have me some clearance. But I don't have to put no extenders on them. Cause 
was a hex adapter that I got on them or 12 to 17, but I had to get the kind of why I could still use my nuts. I said, man, the whole goal is to try to get it lined up, but I'm going to get my gauges and everything in. She getting the black GRPs. So, y'all hold on, man. See what they look like on it. Give me one second. Quick gloves. Red cut on the GRPs. Remember those the ones that was on the Typhoon. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Pray.